वेलकम टू विनता मैथ चैनल दिस इज द क्लास फोर ऑफ प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन मॉड्यूल द प्रॉब्लम टिल नाउ वी हैव डिस्कस्ड अबाउट द प्रोबेबिलिटी डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन प्रोबेबिलिटी फंक्शन एंड फ्यू बेसिक कॉन्सेप्ट एंड द फॉर्मूला फॉर मीन वेरियंस स्टैंडर्ड डिविएशन फॉर द डिस्क्रीट प्रोबेबिलिटी फंक्शन so based on the topics which we have already discussed i have taken one problem the problem is the coin is tossed twice <coughs> a random variable a random variable represents the number of heads turning up find the discrete probability distribution for x also find its mean and variance so based upon the given data let us fill up all the details what they are saying a coin is being tossed twice so for doing random variable experiment what we need we need a sample space first or nothing but outcomes okay <coughs> outcomes what are the possible outcomes h h h t t h and t t why we have taken like this they are telling the coin is tossed twice so h h okay next for this outcomes they have taken the random variable x which represents the number of heads turning up so <coughs> random variable is x the random variable x is the number of heads turning up so how many heads are there here 2 here 1 1 here it is 0 okay so our random variable is ready now <coughs> now what we have to find find the discrete probability distribution probability distribution it is nothing but it's the table which contains <coughs> the different values of x that is xi with its probabilities right so let me write one more box which shows the probability distribution function p of xi and x is equal to x i values okay x is a random variable x i is the values it is taking it is taking 0 1 2 so 0 1 and 2 what is p of x i p of x i it is nothing but it's the probability of happening of x is equal to 0 so, so the formula for this is p of xi will be equal to n of e divided by n of s how many times the no head has been appeared it is one time right that is tt so the number of elements in the event is 1 divided by number of elements in the sample space how many number of elements are there 1 2 3 4 okay so it is 4 what we have to write here for zero it is 1 by 4 even you can write it as p of zero is equal to 1 by 4 similarly for x is equal to 1 how many times the one has been repeated two times 2 divided by total number of elements in the sample space is 4 <coughs> if you want you can simplify it is equal to 1 by 2 and the number 2 the random variable 2 it's there only once so it is 1 divided by 4 our table is ready this is the discrete probability distribution how the uh, the random variable x is being distributed okay so this is the probability discrete probability distribution fine next they are asking about the mean we have already discussed about the formula for mean the formula for mean is 
mu is equal to summation xi into p of xi okay so which is equal to this summation means we have to add up here xi let us take it as xi as 0 for this xi this is the corresponding p of xi so 0 into 1 by 4 okay they are telling summation summation means we have to add so it is plus here if you want you can put the brackets next after that for 1 the corresponding value is the corresponding value of p of xi is 1 by 2 so 1 into 1 by 2 plus for 2 the value corresponding value of p of xi is 1 by 4 okay which is equal to 0 into anything is 0 plus 1 into 1 by 2 is 1 by 2 plus 2 1s are 2 2s are so it is 1 by 2 1 by 2 plus 1 by 2 is 1 so the mean value is 1 we found the we got the value of mean next the formula for variance we have to find the variance the formula for variance is summation xi minus mu whole square into p of xi okay so let me sub, uh, substitute the values xi xi is 0 for this xi we have to take the corresponding p of xi as 1 by 4 okay so xi is 0 minus mu mu means me, mean here we have already found out find out <coughs> we have got the value of mean as 1 so it is 0 minus 1 whole square into p of xi xi value is the corresponding p of xi is 1 by 4 1 by 4 next since it is summation plus again xi xi is 1 minus mu is 1 whole square I am substituting the values that's it into corresponding p of xi is 1 by 2 next again plus <coughs> xi is 2 minus mu is 1 whole square into corresponding p of xi is 1 by 4 simplify this that's it <coughs> 0 minus 1 is minus 1 whole square into 1 by 4 plus 1 minus 1 is 0 0 square into 1 by 2 plus 2 minus 1 is 1 1 square into 1 by 4 which is equal to minus 1 square is 1 why because minus into minus it is plus okay so 1 into 1 by 4 is 1 by 4 plus 0 into anything is 0 plus 1 square into 1 is 1 divided by 4 1 by 4 plus 1 by 4 quarter plus quarter is half which is equal to 1 by 2 or <coughs> even you can try to solve it by using the or uh, taking the LCM 4 common 4 take uh, LCM as 4 then 1 plus 1 which is equal to 2 by 4 simplify it 2 1s are 2 twos are so the variance is 1 by 2 for this problem the mean is 1 the variance V <coughs> is 1 by 2 standard deviation standard deviation will be equal to square root of v which is equal to standard deviation they have not asked but i am providing the details standard deviation will be 1 by 2 okay if you like this video like our channel subscribe to our channel hit the like button and if you have any doubts comment in the comment section and also you can join our telegram group the link will be provided in the description box thank you for watching 
एंड कीप वॉचिंग आर वीडियोज थैंक यू हैप्पी लर्निंग